Stoke Mandeville is changing and how it changes will affect you and your family. And this is an opportunity for you to express your views in response to the plans that we've put together. Your views will guide us in the development and conservation of this area. And importantly, it will avoid unplanned and speculative development. I'm here today in these tranquil fields that surround Lower Road. And I want to talk to you about our proposals for these very fields. So as well as supporting additional housing requirements of a growing parish, we would like to utilize these fields as green spaces to provide important public facilities for the community. These facilities will come in the form of green walkways that connect different parts of the parish together. We also have plans for a primary school approximately on the site that we're currently on today. This primary school will again cater to the demands of a growing parish. We also have ambitious plans for a parish centre to be situated across these fields. We envisage this parish centre becoming a focal point, a community hub. It will provide facilities for people to work, for people to enjoy themselves and a place where we can shop as well. We have lots of exciting ideas in store for this parish centre. Let me share a few. This will provide an innovation, a business startup centre, which will be very closely affiliated with the Stoke Mandeville Hospital and also nearby biomedical research facilities. There's also plans for a small business support centre which offers important meeting space and um, facilities for people that are currently working from home. There's also plans for a children's play area as well as a mugger. We'd also like to preserve this green space for the purposes of a food growing area, um, an orchard that we can enjoy. On a practical level, there's plans for health facilities, cafes, a transport hub that allows you to park your vehicle and use the green walkways to walk to different parts of the parish. Of course, the neighborhood plan sets all of this out in much more detail. And at present, there's policy papers, there's evidence papers, and of course, the draft neighborhood plan itself. You don't need to read every one of those, but importantly, we only have six weeks for this consultation. So how can you help? So first of all, you should have received a leaflet which summarizes many of the proposals that I've shared with you. In addition to that, you can go to the Parish Council website to look at all of the different papers that I cited earlier. But most important of all, it's important that you click on the survey link and provide us with your views on these plans and these proposals. If none of these options work for you, then there's also an option to have access to the physical copies. If that's a preferred route, then please get in touch with the Parish Council and that can be organised. We have a vision to embrace change, but also to protect the important things that brought you and hopefully future generations to this beautiful part of the country. Finally, I'd like to urge you again to be part of this neighbourhood plan for Stoke Mandeville.